Nice. Cassie's in the Bob Mills Weather Center. Yeah, Cass, you got to bundle up if you're going for a bike ride today. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, today's a totally <laughs> different story than yeah. where we were yesterday. Man, we started out with uh, so many storms, really mainly across southern Oklahoma. Now, obviously, eventually that came through Oklahoma City, but the severe storms generally stayed to our south. Storm trackers were all over at Tom Pastrano. He was in southwest Oklahoma for the better portion of the day, and that's where those storms really started to get going. You can see those wall clouds, a lot of wind, so you can see that dust blowing around in parts of southern southwest south central oklahoma love the contrast in the colors there and yeah a lot of these storms they dropped quite a bit of hail as well we had several pictures and video of golf ball size hail you can see that gust front moving in there we also had marty logan he was in northwest oklahoma and out in the panhandle is where he started yeah that's beaver and you can see the frozen precipitation so a little bit of ice melting off of that sign there but he ended up seeing just a quite a bit of blowing snow is all over the place. Didn't see a whole lot of accumulation. You can see there that it's just kind of blowing against the uh, solid ground there, the cold ground at best. But yeah, let's go ahead and go to links two. I'm going to show you where all the storm reports ended up. Of course, we did have some wind reports in the panhandle, but generally most of those severe weather reports laid down in southern Oklahoma. It was a nice rain, though, for the metro. We ended up with 1.31 inches of rainfall. Some of those storms kept training over the same areas and obviously over the airport as well. So that helped us quite a bit. This is our Norman Regional camera, part of our Lucky Star SkyCam network. Blue skies were at 32 degrees. We've got a north-northwest wind at 13, but that makes it feel more like 22 degrees. Temperatures are in the upper 20s and low 30s across north, low to mid 30s in the metro, some upper 30s across the south with that north wind. Between about 10 to 20 miles an hour, there are some gusts that are a little higher than that in parts of southern Oklahoma. But with that wind, it feels more like the 20s for most of us still have some teen wind chill values, though, in the panhandle. So the big picture showing that storm system now moving across the east coast and behind it still some severe weather and some very cold temperatures for everyone. Now here at home, we're finally seeing some sunshine, so some clearing skies. But man, it is chilly and it's going to be even more chilly as we get into the weekend. We're still going to have a pretty strong north wind for the next couple of days. Now, Sunday, that wind's going to start to back off a little bit. The colder air is going to retreat back to the north, and we're going to have this next week wave move in by about Tuesday. But right now, I think chances for any rain are going to be pretty slim. Good news is by about midweek, it's looking warmer, but that's when our next storm arrives. So right now, it looks like the better chance will start to arrive as we get into Thursday. And with that particular storm, sure, we could see some severe weather. We're still several days out, so we're going to fine tune that as we get closer. But behind it, temperatures start to drop off just a little bit more before this next storm starts to move in. Now we're looking at that following weekend it's about March 26, March 27th, but we'll see how it turns out right now. Some of the data came and gets dry, at least here in Oklahoma, with some up and down temperatures once again. So for today, though, it's just going to be plain chilly. Temperatures will not make it out of the 50s today. We're going to struggle to make it to about 51. We're going to keep that wind out of the north between about 10 to 20 miles an hour. Then overnight tonight, I think we're going to have maybe a few clouds around, but temperatures drop to about 30 degrees in Oklahoma City. The 20s across the north, 30s across the far south. Tomorrow afternoon, 47 degrees, but we're going to combine that with a north wind between 15 to 25, so it's going to feel a little bit colder than the upper 40s. Now, Sunday, we're going to stay in the 40s, but the wind's going to be lighter across central and eastern Oklahoma, so that's going to make a big difference. But upper 40s across the far west, about 55 degrees in Guyman come Sunday afternoon. And then as we get into Monday, we're going to stay in the upper 40s. We're going to have some cloud cover around, a slight chance of rain for both Tuesday and into Wednesday. Thursday, that's going to be our next chance of storm. That chance will linger into Friday and generally temperatures look a little bit better after that. We'll be right back.